Every Lord. knee will bow Allah and every tongue Allah will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Demons come in all shapes and sizes. It's where you stand before God. Shut up! Before it's too late. Shut it! We can all be saved Shut tonight. Up. And I pray that you turn and repent before it's too late. Turn from your sin. What is sin? Well, God gave his commandments so that we could see our sin. Stop talking. No one listens. And see, because of our sin, Shut it. that we need to turn to God. Potholes should be quiet. We need to turn to God before it's too late, just like the rich man. The rich man didn't turn to God, and it was too late for him when he stood before God in heaven. He wants to hear you. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes. Jesus, blah, blah, Jesus, blah, blah, blah. No. There, don't think that your own good works will get you to heaven. Nothing will get us to heaven but Jesus Christ. No one can deny that foul spirits are literally manifesting as young Christians fearlessly and boldly preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. But God is saying, seek first the kingdom and my righteousness, and all the rest will be added. Hallelujah. All the rest will be added if we seek first the kingdom of God. Turn to Jesus Christ today. Turn to Jesus Christ today. Muhammad is dead. And Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. For God so loves the world. But Jesus rose from the dead. Hallelujah. And he defeated death. And you can be saved if you call upon the name of the Lord. Because there is a way. There is a way that seemeth right to a man. But there ends there of the ways of death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God but by him. The enemy intensified his attack on this Christian brother as he courageously proclaimed that Jesus Christ is Lord. However, it is encouraging that despite the intimidation and assault, he remained calm and undeterred. And Jesus didn't come. He came for everybody, whether you're black, white, yellow, blue, I'm going to tell you today, he came for the sinner, that they could be saved. And when you preach about Jesus, listen, devils, demons start to manifest. And so right, this happens. It happens. Why? Because it's not Santa Claus that makes demons manifest. It's not the name of Muhammad that makes demons manifest. What happens when, you know what every, everyone, blast, you don't hear people saying, oh my Muhammad. You don't, people, you don't hear people say, oh my Buddha. You hear people blaspheme Jesus every day. Because Jesus is the name that can save you. Amen. Jesus is the name that can save you. Hallelujah. Jesus is the name. Jesus' name. You can know everlasting life through Jesus. You can know everlasting life through Jesus Christ. He loves you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. And you can know the freedom of God. You can know what it is to be a son of God. Repent of your sins today. Repent before it's too late. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. And unless we repent, we will perish. My friends, call upon the name of the Lord while he may be found. Undeniably, demons used this man to distract people from hearing the word of God. Evidently, as this Christian brother preached, many people stopped to listen. Watching him calmly preach on the street, even when he was being threatened, showed the Spirit of God was in him. The more violent the Muslim men became, the calmer and bolder the street preacher became. We praise the Lord for that. God wants you to repent. Unless we repent, we will perish. And that's why I'm here today, because I love you. I don't want to see you go to hell. I don't want to see you go to hell. I don't want to see you die in your sin. You're talking. I can't, you're, it's my mic. <laughs> I don't have to, it's my mic. It's my mic, sir. You've been yelling. You've been yelling. But I, you're, you're talking as much as you want to talk. I'm here talking too. So God is calling you, my friends. He loves you so much. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so I made this hope for you. Whoever you are today, there's hope for you in Jesus. There's hope in the name of the Lord. There's hope by the grace of God. If you call on the name of the Lord, you can find peace with God. You can find the joy of the Lord. You can find freedom where the Spirit of the Lord is this freedom. Where the Spirit of God is, 
there is freedom. And so I'm here to tell you today, Jesus can set you free. Are you kidding me? The Bible says that there'll be many false prophets. Jesus said this, that in the last days, many false prophets will come. Many false prophets will come. Many false prophets. Amen. 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 Sir, sir, please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. The Bible says many false prophets will come in the last days, deceiving many. See, there's the spirit of God and there's the spirit of the devil. There's no self-control without the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost has self-control. See, when you don't got the Holy Ghost, you have you don't have self-control. You have hate. You have you have disorder. You have a disordered mind. You have confusion. And I, and I love you, sir. I don't want to see you go to hell. I don't want to see you go to hell, man. I want to see you have Jesus. Repent. Turn to Jesus Christ. And this is what happens when you preach about Jesus. Demons manifest. Demons begin to manifest in people. And I pray this man gets saved in Jesus' name. My friends, to humble yourself. Before it's too late, repent. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you. Turn to Jesus. Before it's too late, humble yourself to the cross. And now he's touching our stuff. Now, now he, violence. There's a there's a violent spirit in this man. Violent spirit. Touching our stuff. Don't touch. Don't touch our stuff. Don't touch our stuff. Don't touch our stuff. Back up, sir. Back up, sir. I rebuke every demon. I command every demon. Right now. Back up, sir. Back up, sir. Don't touch. Don't touch our stuff. Don't touch our stuff. Muhammad is dead, sir. Please back up. Don't touch our stuff. This is our stuff. You're you're touching our stuff. This is you're you're grabbing. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. This is my mic. Stop touching our stuff. Stop touching our. It's not your stuff. God is calling every person to repent of their sins before it's too late. Watch what happens next when the police show up. If you think they will stop the man from harassing a street preacher, we are in for a shocking surprise. And a world of darkness. A world that is, that is, a world with light and a world with darkness. A world with light and a world with darkness. And unfortunately, unfortunately, yep, this is, this is the spirit of the Antichrist inside of him. Inside of him, sir. This guy is, yeah, this guy's, this guy's. On a different level. He's in, he's, in a, he's in a demonic level. But I'm here to tell you today, Jesus is on the highest level. Because there's no high like the most high. And he sits upon the throne. And, he's, and, he's, and the earth is his footstool. And every knee is going to bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. So repent of your sins today. Before it's too late. Repent of your sins. I hadn't touched this. Uh, he came and he came to me. He came to me, officer. I got you, I got you. And it's on live stream. On, God is calling every person to repent of their sins before it's too late. Humble yourself before God. Humble yourself. Humble yourself before the Lord before it's too late. God is saying to you, He loves you. For God so loves the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish. And off they went while he continued to harass someone in a public space. When you compare how these officers permitted this individual to continue disrupting a Christian from preaching the gospel to this officer who arrested a Christian for merely standing on the sidewalk and sharing the gospel, it is clear that something is seriously wrong in America. But there are fellow brothers in Christ who are helping me. They want to help me. I've received nothing but um, outpour and love and support. People are just reaching out and they just want to make sure that I'm okay. A Christian is arrested for doing nothing wrong other than telling people to repent and turn to Jesus. But this Muslim guy can harass a Christian preacher, the sad state of a so-called free country. Well, after the police left, the man returned with a vengeance, but this time with a knife and was ready to attack. God loves you so much that he gave his one and only son, 
that whoever believes in him should not pay. Oh, 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 listen, back up, sir. Back up. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. Be... For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm just preaching the gospel, sir. I, I'm allowed to be here, just like you. I'm allowed to be here. I'm allowed to be here, sir. I'm allowed to be here and share the gospel. I'm allowed to be here. 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 Allowed to be here. Are the police gonna do anything to this guy? He just. The police are not doing anything. They're just like walking. Are the, are the police gonna do anything to this guy touching my stuff, grabbing my stuff, or are you just gonna grab food? I'm, I'm just, I'm just being real with you. Grab food. I'm being real with you, officer. Because you gotta do your job. This guy, this guy. I mean, you guys are seeing it. I love you, I, and, I, and I respect the police. But this guy is touching me and touching my stuff. It's on live stream. Yes. So I'm here to tell you today. No, no, no. There's no. You, you, it's not just hugging this guy. He's he's breaking the law, officer. He's breaking the law. You're hugging this guy, breaking the law. Officers, there. Officers, officers. He's coming back. Well, he's trying to. I'm here to tell you today. I'm here to tell you today to call on the name of the Lord while he may be found. While he may be found. While he may be found. Police, 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 because police. God. Sir, back up, back up, sir, 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 back up, 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 back Hey, hey, chill out, chill out. Hey, yo, chill out, chill out, chill out. All right. Get the f***ing on. Get the f***ing on. Get the f***ing on. The police is driven. You got a knife. You got a knife on him, sir. Got a knife on him. Say something about Muhammad again. Say something about Muhammad again. He pulled out the knife, officer. He pulled out the knife. Say something about Muhammad again. Yo. He pulled the knife out. Yeah. Pulled the knife out. Yep. Our best officers, right? Where, where, where? This, you know, I don't, I don't want, I don't want anything bad for that guy. So this is the issue. So God bless you, everybody. Although it is tempting for Christians to get upset and want to see this man locked up, we know he is under the devil's influence and desperately needs to be delivered. And only Jesus Christ can save and set him free. And I'm proud of my faith. You can be proud of what you want to be proud of, and I will be proud of Jesus. I will be proud of my faith, and you can be proud of whatever. Sure. What can I, what can I say? Offer love to everybody. Take that out of my face, please. <laughs> Get this on camera, please. Go ahead. Get the camera. I'm not comfortable with some of the things you've said. Okay? What, what did I say? You should probably see me. I've been sitting there for a while. Yeah. I understand, okay? I understand. Yes, you are allowed okay, to film. Thank you. That you are expressing your views, okay? I understand that a lot of what you're quoting is straight from the Bible. Straight from the Bible. Okay? And I appreciate that, okay? That is your honest held belief, okay? But I cannot allow you, okay? to project this in the street at this level when you can see how irate people have become. What, what's the law that I can't preach my faith? Public order, okay? Public if order that I can't, I can't if you're causing preach someone, if you're causing, the word of God. If you're causing someone harassment, alarm and distress... Who's, who's harassing um, anybody? Who's, okay, so I've had two people come up to me and complain already. What did they say? Okay, they've said that the scripture that you've quoted or the words that you've said in relation to homosexuality sure. and homelessness has offended them. Can I ask okay? you something? Yes, is, is this a banned book? In no, it's not a banned book at all. So am I allowed to read from the Bible? Are you allowed to read the Bible? Yes, you can okay. read from the Bible. So, so I'm, I'm going to read. Okay. So, so, so if I read the Bible and that offends somebody, then, that, so their rights trump mine? If you're offending, yes. So by reading okay. the is the Bible an offense? No, I haven't told you to read the Bible. Okay, so, so if I read the Bible and someone's offended by my projection of my faith, which I'm entitled to project, yep. so you're saying I'm wrong for projecting what the Bible says. Is that what? Folks, if you have not read the Acts of the Apostles lately, we highly encourage you to read or reread it. There is nothing new under the sun. 
First century Christians were persecuted, and some were martyred for publicly preaching the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who hear. In order to understand why it's a blessing for people to hear, you have to put that in its context. Why is it a blessing for those who hear? Remember, Paul is talking about persecution. He is experiencing persecution. He has watched all of his fellow apostles die violent deaths. He is seeing the church be persecuted. There's been a persecution under Nero. Now there's a persecution under Domitian. And there are more persecutions to come. So John says, I'm writing this to you that was revealed to me. Remember this. John is on the island of Patmos in exile. He has no idea what's going to happen to him. He has no idea what the future holds. He has no idea how he's going to die. And Christ sends an angel to say to him, I want to show you something, and I want you to write it down. How does John know that it's a blessing to those who are being persecuted to hear this? Because he's on Patmos because of persecution, and he got to hear it first. That's how he knows. It's a blessing to those who hear, because when the church is persecuted, she needs to be reminded of the goodness of God, the sovereignty of God. She needs to be reminded who she serves, She needs to be reminded how she was redeemed and why she was redeemed. When persecution comes to the church, the church needs to be reminded that we are those who are here because of one who died a death of persecution, but who rose again on the third day, who overcame not just persecution, but death itself. We've shown you countless evidence that it is becoming increasingly difficult for Christians to share their faith publicly. The devil wants to intimidate and silence us to keep our faith private. But how can unbelievers get saved if no one preaches to them by sharing the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ? How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. It is a beautiful thing to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to the lost and dying world. Additionally, while uncomfortable and nerve-wracking, it is a lovely thing to be persecuted for the sake of the gospel. Our eternal reward is great in heaven if we hold fast to the confession of our faith and do not deny our Jesus Christ. But as it is written, Eye hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. Please help us spread biblical truth. Subscribe, like, and share. God bless you.